I know this is a test that I've promised for quite a while now, so let's get into it. Really, there were five goals that I had. The first thing I wanted to do is make sure it had just the same capability as a stock bike as far as fording water with no water ingress. I accomplished that by having a stock air filter body, but a different air filter itself. In addition, I wanted to make sure that the bike had just as much off-road torque in first gear. It does have taller gearing and taller tires, but the engine capacity has added quite a bit more torque, so we're at least equal there. I also wanted to do a minimum of 55 miles per hour up any hill or into any, any headwind, and we've achieved that as well as shown in the previous testing. The reason I wanted 55 miles per hour is because the roads around here have a 55 mile an hour speed limit. Also, I wanted 150 cc minimum capacity on the engine. Uh, this is the legal limit in a number of states to, in order to drive on the freeways, and I wanted the capability of legally to drive on the freeways if absolutely necessary. In addition, I wanted to have a minimum range on the gas tank of 150 miles. Now, this is something that we're going to be testing today to see what the fuel economy of this bike is and also the maximum distance. So we're going to run this thing absolutely dry of gas and just see what the, the indicator on the odometer says. And then beyond that, I wanted this thing to be absolutely as dead reliable as the stock Honda Trail 125. Now, obviously, I burned through quite a few quite a few pistons and cylinders in trying to figure out what works well. The current setup, even though I've been doing testing on it, has gone probably 2,000 miles without any failure. So I'm calling that reliable and actually very robust because I've overheated this thing, I've abused this thing in my testing, and you've seen that in the videos that I've had, and she's running strong. Please see this link right up here for the previous video where I detail every single component and how much it cost. Putting it up on its center stand just to get the last bit of fuel in this thing to see if I can do a long distance fuel economy test. And by putting it on the center stand, that gas tank is level. I should be able to eke out just the last nth degree of fuel. The fuel that I'm choosing right now is 90 octane, but it's ethanol free. Ethanol free should give us about 3% better fuel economy than with the ethanol at 10%. So we're definitely going to go for it here. Can't guarantee I can get every little bit in, but this is a nice pump. So I'll try to fill it up to the brim here just so we can get a nice long test. Probably take me several hours to burn off all the fuel in here. All right, all set, ready to go. I've reset the odometer to zero. See how far we get. It's been about three and a half hours. A lot of driving, really hot weather, probably closer to 90 degrees now. Fahrenheit, pretty high humidity. I've been holding it pretty close to 45 miles per hour off and on as my uh, max speed. Basically running this fuel tank down. I just hit the reserve indicator flashing light at 136 miles, that's 136 miles. I have a little bit of spare fuel in a can, so I'm gonna run this thing completely bone dry, let it uh, flame out, if you will, and then I'll use that little reserve, add a little bit of gas back into it, and then get a good fuel economy number for this motorcycle and also maximum range at that 45 miles per hour. Be kind of fun. Okay, we just ran out of fuel. That's at 164.9 miles, almost 165 miles. Totally out of fuel. So that's pretty good. Almost 30 total miles on the reserve at about 45 miles per hour. Pretty pleased with that. We'll go ahead and put some, uh, we'll put some gas into the motorcycle, start her back up. I'm going to downshift here. Just see if we can start it up, see if there's any gas left, just for fun. Get it all the way down to neutral here. It did start, so I'll give it a little bit more. See if I can make it a little further down the road here. I doubt it'll go very far. But 
why not? I mean, if you guy, if you were to run out of fuel, you want to take it just as far as you possibly can. So we'll get it going here a little bit further. See if we can get it. Now we're at 165.1. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely out of fuel. That's pretty much it. Go ahead and coast across this intersection here and then fill her up. But that's how it goes. Feels good. I've got this pretty handy fuel thing. Got the carrier from Takagawa. I'll have to show that in a separate video. Carries exactly two liters, or about half a gallon, a little bit more than half a gallon. I have it filled up with 0 .502 gallons. So we'll just add that to our total gas when we fill up later see how this works kind of like a little uh, drink bottle you can see that that's what it looks like it's pretty cool now it comes also with a little funnel I didn't bring the funnel along because it seems like a pain in the butt I think we'll get most of it in there yeah, no issues. Maybe just a couple of drops spilled. Who's counting? Full half gallon in. Close everything up. We'll see how much further she can go down the road. To the gas station, specifically. Right. Getting underway once more. Off to the gas station I go. Have a really good test here. See exactly how much fuel this little boy uses. Okay, here are the final stats. Total of 172.5 miles on 1.556 gallons. Again, 172.5 miles on 1.556 gallons, which I think is pretty exceptional. I'll do the math when I get back home to determine the fuel economy as well as the fuel tank capacity on this motorcycle. Thank you so much for watching today. I have a number of really great videos coming up, including going wide open throttle on the freeway to see what kind of fuel economy I get there. Plus, I've got a new vehicle that I'm going after and show you the entire buying process of that new vehicle. Just for fun, here's a hint of what that new vehicle is. So please watch for those videos. Guys, stay strong and wear those socks and sandals.